Welcome to the Real Spill, where we spill the tea. My name is Rachel James, and today we are at a movie red carpet premiere for Making Him Famous. Today we're going to be asking some of the cast and crew some of their thoughts and questions about the movie. So I'm here with... Cornelia Smuller. And you are the... One of the producers and one of the actors of the film Making Him Famous. So I'm going to ask you a few questions, and nice to meet you. So what made you want to be a part of this movie and actually create the movie? Well, actually, um, the original concept is a little bit loosely based on my tr my life. Um, I desired to be rich and famous, failed basketball career, and I thought, what can I do that sounded pretty cool? And I said, so I want to be an actor. And then there were some things along the line the last few years that really changed the trajector trajectory of my life as far as wanting to make films that would inspire people uh, to be better, live better, et cetera, et cetera. So that's so making them famous. Want, I want to be famous, but in turn, I realized that I need to make God famous and not Cornelius. Oh, there you go. So today I'm here with Cameron Arnett, my wife BJ. Nice to meet you guys. And what was your role in the movie? Well, I play uh, Grandpa Burton. <laughs> I'm, one, I'm one of the associate producers and uh, love working with Cornelius Muller and the cast is phenomenal and I think people are going to be very surprised as to um, what's going to happen. I can't wait to watch the movie so I'm just going to ask you a few questions. So I love the suit. I love what you guys have on. So who are you guys wearing if you know? <laughs> oh wow. I have, no, I have no clue who I'm wearing. I have no idea. And she is Miss <laughs> Fashion. She's actually the chair of the art and fashion department of uh, uh, um, Clark, Clark, Atlanta. Atlanta. Clark Atlanta University. <laughs> So she's um, doing all kinds of. We just came back from New York doing a, a fashion week, and uh, so, so she's Miss Fashion. So, so I, you know, and I grab whatever will work. <laughs> you know, we want to have the the things that are comfortable and work within our busy lifestyle, and this is how we do it. We just have fun with it. Well, you guys look fantastic. I'm gonna ask you one more question. What is something great God has done for you so far? Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's, that is so vast that I know we don't have enough time. God is so faithful that, you know, I was talking to somebody the other day, and I said that he has done so much that we'd be embarrassed not to believe him. You know, um, what God has done with our lives is so spectacular that um, we pinch ourselves. We, we, we you know, um, we don't have words for it. No. You know, um, he is so good. Um, you know, you know, there, what there we know really I, 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 I'm a speaker by trade as well, and when I talk about God, it leaves me speechless. It really does. Um, I, I'm flabbergasted as to how good and how awesome He is. So, yeah. well, thank you so much for talking with me. It was great to meet you. Too, wonderful to meet you yeah. and congratulations on all the great things that God is doing in your life yeah. thank you, thank you. It's, it's been a journey yeah. well keep, keep in touch let us know what's going on Perfect. I am here with Joseph Gray nice to meet you and what was your role in the movie I was an associate producer I was one of the writers and I play Bishop Miller which is the antagonist of the film Ooh, so I'm gonna ask you a few questions today and what made you want to be involved with this particular movie so I have been connected with Cornelius Muller, the executive producer, for several years. We met back in, uh, ooh, I think it was 2008, at an acting class. And uh, we both had similar drives, similar passions. We're both uh, uh, believers, followers of Jesus, and we wanted to do things that were inspiring, encouraging, uplifting, um, content that, you know, maybe the whole family could enjoy with positive message. And so uh, Cornelius is a hustler. He got out there and said, I'm going to make something. I said, all right, well, let's make it. And uh, I've been I've been part with him ever since. So we've made a few, we made a short film and a couple other feature films, and this is our third feature, and uh, it's the best one yet. Congratulations, too. It's a great production. It looks fantastic, and I can't wait to see it. So one last question. What is your favorite movie? Let's just do a random question. Come on now. Favorite of all time? I can't, you know, we can't narrow it down to just one. Um, at least two. Oh, man, I guess... One that comes to mind that I think would, be, would have been really cool to be a part of, um, it was also based on a true story and just a, an incredible story, Hacksaw Ridge, um, Desmond Dahl's story, I don't, even, I don't know if you're familiar, but anyway, it's a really interesting story. Something like that would be, would be cool to be a part of. And of course, this movie is one of your favorites because you're starring in it and you're a writer for it. But thank you so much for interviewing with us. Uh, thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. So, I'm here with... Johnny Widener. And what is your role or your... 
So what was your role in the film? I was director of photography at the last few weeks that we had the um, filming and then also did gaff work. I was a gaffer. Oh, nice. Lighting and lighting. Nice. So what made you want to be involved in this movie? I met Cornelius at the church, and so uh, the project came up there, and I thought, I just kind of felt led to do that. So I, uh, my wife did a set design as well, so she helped with that. So we both said, let's do it, and we did. So it's been a great, it's been a great road because we've had a lot of great um, response from other companies now. We've done more work like this, so um, it's just growing. It's good. So great opportunity that came from this particular movie. Yes, yes. Some, a, of, the, some of the people that I met has have brought me on on do, different other features and also some pilot shows. We've done a couple of those, so it's been good. It's been nice. Sounds good. So what has something, what great thing has God done for you so far from just in general? Well, I have to admit, I think that it's really changed my whole entire workflow. I was in a, I was in a commercial world, so my clients were big clients, you know, and uh, we got rid of our space. We got, um, we kept our, our gear, but then we got rid of our space. We actually moved, and I'm traveling now. And the best thing about this is the people I've met along the way in this has really just had such a great influence on me and uh, everyone else. And I feel like being in that uh, Bible feel you know you're sitting there and you're like you're learning about the bible from people that you're working with and that's something you don't ever get in normal workplaces and i love that oh that sounds so good well thank you so much for doing an interview with me so i am here with richie johns and you are the what is the role that you have in this film yeah i was the first assistant director nice so what made you want to be involved with this particular movie yeah yeah so this is an interesting uh, case i don't know if other people have told you like the first uh, four days were shot before the world shut down with COVID and production shut down and then it picked up a year later and so that's um, I was brought on board uh, for the second half so like after the first four days uh, I was connected with some friends that were on the project and uh, after uh, COVID shut everything down shut the world down the production picked back up and I uh, came over came in and took over schedule logistics and so yeah some mutual fr friends connected me with the executive producer and yeah he hired me on the project that's so cool how everything worked out in the end. Um, so, just a random question. What's to come in the future that we should look out for for projects of yours? What, what was that again? What is something that we should look out for the future of projects of yours? Oh, okay, yeah. So, um, besides assistant directing, I also produce. And so, um, I have a project that will be coming out here, um, hopefully this year, maybe next year. Uh, it's called The Promised Land, and it's a comedy about Moses and the Israelites wandering in the desert for 40 years. But it's shot in the style of, like, The Office, Parks and Rec. So, you, they break the fourth wall, sit down for interviews. And so, it's a fun, uh, lighthearted way to connect with the characters, um, whether you, uh, you know, uh, have heard the story of Moses or Ten Commandments or the Red Sea, like a lot of people in three different religions, you know, uh, um, follow the Torah, right? And so it's a, it's a fun way to get to know the characters. And so my company, uh, Studio 523, produced it and we're pitching it to studios currently. So hopefully it'll be, uh, yeah, we'll see what, what network uh, might want to pick it up. So Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We shot the pilot episode last, uh, last fall. So. Wow. Thank you so much for interviewing. Yes, nice meeting you. Nice Thank to you. Hear with Jennifer Foster. Nice to meet you. And you are the producer. Producer of this film. So I'm gonna ask you a few questions Go relating to it. that. So what made you want to be involved with this particular movie? Oh, getting to work with that man Cornelius Muller right there is a huge honor. He asked me to be a part of it and I couldn't have been more honored. <laughs> exactly. It's a great movie. It seems pretty cool. And so what were the ch some of the challenges of bringing this movie to life? I think locations. We had so many different locations in the movie that we were shooting at. It was hard to bring it to life because of that. But we did it. Um, we made it happen, and it is a fantastic film. And I can't wait to watch the movie. It looks fantastic. Thank you so much for interviewing with me. Sure thing. Thank you. Today I'm here with the main man. Vonnie Bristow. Thank you so much for interviewing me. And your role in the movie was? Uh, Mario. I play Mario King. Who is the main character. I'm going to just ask you a few questions. So what made you want to be cast for this particular movie? Uh, I mean, you know, it was kind of beyond my control, honestly. But it was... Uh, being a part of a story that had so much meaning, you know? Anytime you can do that as an actor, be a part of a meaningful production, that just makes, you know, makes your job better, exactly. 
Right. So, what is something great that God has done for you so far? Uh, bless me with an extremely supportive family. You know, um, I, it's not lost on me, and I'm just thankful that the people that show out and support, and um, yeah, it's a blessing. It's, that, that's the best blessing. Okay. Yes, man. Yeah. And then the last question is just a random question. Who are you wearing? I love the outfit. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. Um, so this is a, a, a friend of mine has a clothing line. It's called Shop With Us. And um, so, yeah, I'm just head to toe just in his, you know, one-offs kind of of his line. So. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for interviewing me. So I am here with the amazing Tremaine Blair. And you were, your role in this film was the? I played Rodney. Um, he was a homeless character, you know, up on his wits. But towards the end of the movie, he finds his way. So he was a lot, a lot of fun to play. Oh, that's so cool. So what was your favorite part of the movie? Oh, without question, the baptism. Um, I, I don't know if you've seen the movie yet, but there's a very funny scene where Rodney gets baptized, but he's terrified of water. Um, and so doing that scene and the number of takes that we had to do, uh, I probably got dunked in that water 12 to 15 times. They just had robes off to the side. They dunked me, cut, take it off, put a dry one on, put me right back in the water, and that water was cold. Oh, but Jesus was shut up in my bones. You hear me? Shut up. I really do like your outfit, so tell us who you're wearing. So, I am wearing Target. Okay. Um, <laughs> Target by Menon. There you go. Um, the jacket was a gift. Uh, the jacket is uh, Guess. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, the jacket is Guess. But, yeah, this is a... Listen, don't be sleeping on your local retails. Because, you know, I walked in there and I walked out with a whole outfit. So this is Target by Menon. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get, get, get with the Target. Get with the Target, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much for interviewing. You're very welcome, you're very, very welcome. So well, joining me, I'm here with? John Knight. Thank you so much, and what was your role in the movie? My role, without giving away too much, on set I was called The Lone Man. Yes. Nice, nice. So I'm gonna ask you a few questions. So what made you want to be casted for this movie? You know, um, it's a crazy story. You know, the way um, I came about this film, they were filming around my area, my neighborhood. I saw the whole setup, and I was like, you know, I, I, I should be there. I got to be there. Why not? So, you know, make long story short, I got in the film. The whole process was just amazing, an incredible cast, amazing actors. I mean, I, I was truly blessed to be part of this production, and I recommend everybody go watch it. It's a really good movie. Go watch it. And then, what is something great that God has done for you so far? Bless me to be in this movie. <laughs> New movie. And then you said that this was your first red carpet, so that's pretty cool. Yes, I am so excited. I mean, I, I always knew this day would come. I just didn't expect it to come so soon. So, you know, I'm continuing to be blessed. You know, what can I say? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. So I am had the pleasure of being with Lelia Wilson. Nice to meet you. And then what was your role in the movie? I was Nicole's daughter. Oh, okay. So I'm going to ask you a few questions. So what made you want to be casted for this movie? Um, I grew up with Corin, and so he approached my mother and asked if I would be in it, and I just jumped at the opportunity. Oh, that's so good. And what age did you actually be on set because I know you were young when you were when you started I was 12 or 13 that's crazy and now how old are you I'm 15 about to turn 16 well almost happy birthday and one last thing what is your favorite part of the movie I actually haven't seen it yet no I'm excited to see it for the first time today right and you get to see yourself on the big screen how do you feel a little nervous <laughs> it's okay it's gonna be so good and congratulations again Thank you. Thank you. So I'm here with Jeremiah Sadden. Nice to meet you. And then what was your role in the movie? I was a younger version of the main character. Nice. Cool. So was this your first movie you've ever been in? No. No? How many other movies have you been in? Um, I've been in countless movies. Really? Okay. Is this something that you really want to do is be in the movie and entertainment industry? Yes. Oh, that's so cool. So tell us what your favorite movie is. Um, the favorite movie I've been in, or just a favorite movie in general? Either, either or. Um, my favorite movie probably is 
It's probably like a Tyler Perry movie. Okay. Which one? Uh, Boo 2. Okay. Nice. Well, thank you so much for interviewing. Thank you. Thank you.